My story is George and the Dragon by Chris Wormel. Far, far away, in the high, high mountains, in a deep, deep valley, in a dark, dark cave, there lived a mighty dragon. He could fly higher than the clouds and faster than all the birds. He could burn down a forest with a blast of his fiery breath. He could smash a castle wall with a flick of his mighty tail. And he could brush away an army with a sweep of his monstrous wing. There was nothing so fierce and so terrible as the mighty dragon. But he had a secret, a big secret. Well, actually, a very small secret. He was terrified of mice. Which was a pity because that very day a mouse moved into the cave just next door. His name was George. Now, George didn't much care for the cave next door. It was cold and dark and drafty. The previous owner had been a bat, so the fixtures and furnishings were most inconvenient. And the nearest cheese shop was miles and miles away. George was feeling rather miserable, and to make matters worse, he had no sugar for his tea. I know, said George. I'll just pop next door and see if I can borrow some. So he did. I say, you couldn't loan me a couple of lumps of sugar, could you? asked George. Ah! screamed the dragon. And he fled. Oh, blow, groaned George. No tea, then. <laughs> but George did get his tea after all, with two lumps of sugar. And he got cheese, too. And nuts, and berries, and biscuits, and crackers, and cream cheese sandwiches, and jelly and ice cream, and fairy cakes with pink icing. And... cosy little hole in the castle wall. And the dragon stayed far away. The end. <laughs>